it is your boy book i am back again doing another review but today it is on my personal c5 z06 so it's an 03 a z06 uh make it around 400 well um it's at my 2.0 stage of the mods I want to have, uh, I built this car for the street, the track, and back road. So, right now, I feel like it's set up almost perfectly for it. Obviously, we can always improve on everything, but I like it how it is. So, I'm going to go in a little bit about what's done to the car. I'm not going to go super in-depth. If you want a very deep dive in the car, I definitely recommend you checking out um, my walk-around video and my cost breakdown video. Because there, I show every mod uh close up and personal plus i go through and break down the cost also in a cost analysis video and tell y'all how much it costs to build a car of this spec for yourself so uh, so i started off with the engine uh it's a ls6 it has a baby cam up in it it's a gm asa cam it has speed engineering long tube headers ati super damper black wing intake it has a uh, EFI performance tune on it. Uh, they're out of uh, uh, Richmond, Virginia, and it's a metal loaded tune because I am in Germany. Um, moving on to the suspension, it's on DRM revalve shocks, uh, Johnny O'Connell sway bars, a poly control arm bushings all around. It has a street track alignment, negative three degrees camber in the front, negative 2.2 degrees camber in the rear with zero toe. Um, all around, I think there's a little bit of toe out in the rear, or it's, uh, yeah, I can't remember. But um, interior-wise, we got this super dope MGW shifter. Got my personal 350 millimeter steering wheel right here with the NRG quick release. I love this setup. I am strapped into a Sparco Grid Q seat, um, and it is secured to the vehicle via a Marad Industries Low Pro seat bracket. Excuse me with harness bar mount. Um, I got a harness bar that my uh, harness is hooked up to. I'm running a five point race equipped three inch harness, which perfect. I love it. Super simple, super easy. My brake setup is a stop tech. I lied. While well, I'm boosting, I got Willwood a six piston uh, 14 inch of rotors up front. Stock calipers in the rear with an XP10 pad from Carbotech in the front and the XP8 pad Carbotech in the rear with stainless steel lines all around. This car also has an MSD two step hooked up so I can shoot flames because I'm a ricer at heart. <laughs> so I know y'all tired of hearing me talk. So let's get into it and let her build up oil pressure right quick. Turn off the trash control. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention on oh, another uh, suspension mod I have is the SLR Speed Angle Kit um, or Quick Steer Kit, and I'll touch on that later on in the video. I like my cars to feel. 
product of the quick steer kit from SLR Speed. It effectively quickens the ratio by changing the point where your tie rods attach uh, to your steering knuckle and in quick, well, and in return it makes your uh, steering a lot quicker. So instead of me having to fumble over the steering wheel, I can just turn it like this. And as you notice, my hands never cross. If you've driven a stock C5, you will know that the stock steering ratio, it doesn't feel like a sports car, it feels like a truck. But this kit definitely corrected that. Oh, here we go. Lateral. That's all grip. That's all grip. Oh, man. Right here. oversteer a little bit, you know, on turning, I can do that. If I want to make it oversteer coming out, I can do that. And I like that that car has that a type of personality where you can change the characteristics of the car to suit your driving. Oh, okay. Man. <laughs> I love this car, bro.
right now, you know, especially with like being on the street, it's damn near impossible. But the car, the amount of grip you feel is just very astonishing. Like, honestly, the car feels so good. But one thing about the Federals is the two, well, uh, they run between a size and a size and a half up. So a 275 in, in this size actually is, is closer to a 295 for other tires. So it's definitely a lot of meat. Like there's a lot of footprint. I don't feel like the 275s hinder the car.
jail speeds to feel it and that's what sucks in germany not so bad because the speed limits and stuff work a bit different here but in the states dude i'm not sure what i'm gonna do in the states obviously you know there's great driving roads everywhere but man man oh man let me tell y'all let me tell y'all great car man it's a great car the car doesn't feel compromised to me obviously it's a rougher ride obviously this seat isn't gonna be as comfortable as the stock seats but I don't feel like I'm losing anything from a stock car in this I still have an AC that blows cold I still have heat that is very warm it's just like man for me this is it. Like, honestly, when people ask me like what I would replace my C5 with, it's hard to give them an answer because it does everything I want it to do. It does everything I want a car to do. It offers a visceral driving experience that's raw. I feel connected to the car. And that's what I love about the car. It's not it's not just some blunt instrument like a lot of people will lead you to believe. When you actually dial these cars in, they can become very precise and feel so. You can feel connected in these cars. I've come from Miatas. You know, I've had, you know, I had an EK hatch. I had uh, an FCR X7, you know. I've had cars that people tout as driving cars. And this, man, I, I just get, out of all my cars, be it you know i get it you know like this is most expensive i have something a most amount of money into but this brings me so much joy and man it's just crazy so man if y'all thinking about getting y'all the c5 bro don't don't hesitate don't hesitate they're great cars they do have their quirks there are a lot of things and that you will need to go through and correct you know, I have videos up on common issues and things like that, but don't let that deter you, bro. All cars got issues, but for the amount of enjoyment I have with this car versus the amount of issues I've had with it, which has really not been that many, worth it 100%. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. If y'all did, please do like and subscribe. We are, we just chugging along. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. Help me by subbing hitting that notification bell, sending it to all your friends, convince them to buy a Corvette too, you know? Like get your Corvette gang going, do whatever you wanna do. But man, I appreciate y'all watching the video. If y'all got any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on IG at BZ underscore Bills if you have questions about my setup, man. I'm happy to help. But take it easy, y'all.